these amazing things are revealing to you and then this will blow your mind this but the spirit of god teaches me baptism carry the power to kill you and to raise you Faith will avail to you any dimension of the demonstration of power that you desire to function. It doesn't matter where you are positioned. It doesn't matter where you are placed. But the moment you get the keys of the anointing, people will come from every corner in the place where you are positioned. What you need is not a good job. What you need is not a good connection. What you need is not to know somebody or somebody. What you need is to know God and pull from Him the right amount. Listen, there is a key to attract good deals. There is a key to attract big contracts. There is a key to attract good jobs. There is a key to attract money. There is a key to attract houses. There is a key to attract property. Only the anointing of attractions. God does not want to see you low. He found no pleasure when he sees you cry. Lacking. Missing. Confused. Confused. Joy and there is no praise unto his name. But the moment he sees joy in your heart. His praises in your heart. He see you seeing good things in your life. He found pleasure. Where you are today, it is based on the level of faith of where you faith for. The two difference between a Christian who is powerful and a Christian who will lack power, it's simply faith in the middle. You can faith God for baptism of water. That everybody does it. But I'm telling you, it is difficult for everybody to faith for the Holy Spirit. So, or to faith to be baptized in fire. I'm a, a, but so that God. one is not in the level of men. It is not a level of the spiritual. But for the Holy Spirit, it needs a personal relationship with God. You don't need a prophet. You don't need an evangelist. You don't need a pastor. You don't need anybody. You just simply need to kneel down and ask it. The Holy Spirit came on Jesus simply by an act of obedience. Submitting to someone else. I see people saying, I told God to do this for me. I told God to bring this for me. Yeah. You told God. You commanding God. Whoa, you still a baby. Grown up do not command God. God command them. You are getting hungry to God. God, I ask you, you didn't give me. That's why I did this. Hey. Me, me, Ngai, Apana, ah, ah. Guy, Mwadani, Ayezekan. Telling God, Nambia Mungu, God, Mungu, I'm hungry with you. Mimi I asked you this, you didn't give me. Only babies can get hungry because they want everything sweet, sweet, sweet. But as long as you were grown up, it is not the father to commend you. Sasa ni baba kuambia mahali utaenda. When you're a child, you ask Papa, bring me shoes. I'm bring me shoes for school tomorrow. I need shoes, Papa. And Papa said, okay, I'll do this for you. That's for babies. When you're a grown-up, he will command you, do this so that you can receive that. Hey, work here so that I can give you that. I explain to you how the other disciples lost the anointing. They were not men of fasting. Yet the other three that were next to Jesus, they were fasting together with Jesus. And when Jesus came, Came down of the mountain of transfiguration he said such demon can only go up by fasting and prayer so they lost the anointing because they were not fasting they were not praying you want to do exploit with god you must learn the art of fasting prayer and fasting jesus yes so the third dimension of attracting of anointing repentance toba, the holy spirit and fire this kind of mystery of baptism baptism of water 
baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism of fire. The first thing they did, the disciple also they were baptizing one time. Then when Jesus died, he rose up again. He came to them, giving them the second baptism, receiving the Holy Spirit. Still, they didn't the same. What changed them? Was the baptizing of fire. I'm telling you, it's getting hotter. If the Lord cannot get you, Kama mungu hata kupata by you receiving the baptism of fire by prayer na wewe kupokea baptizo ya moto na mungu will take you through wilderness hata kupeleka kwa changwa the wilderness of life changwa ile ili the vyo. pain of life katika maisha the challenges of life uchungu wa maisha so that you can learn the power of fire ili ya kwamba uchue nguvu za moto so that you can receive the fire ili ya kwamba upoke moto without the word of God kufusa neno la bwana fire moto to wake up at 3 a.m. to pray kwa mkasa tisa kwa moto fire moto to cast out demons kemea mapepo the fire moto to say God is my shepherd kama mungu ni bwana wangu the fire moto to say he anoints my head sema na ni moto ya fire moto Today is my God. When you receive the fire, ukipata moto, you will not be able to stop talking about Jesus. Hautacha kuongea kuhusu Yesu because that fire will enable you to continue so you can resist to come back. When you receive the fire today, ukipokea moto leo, you will not be able to stop praying. Hautacha mapi. When you receive this fire, walipokea moto. Even the fear could not stop them. Even death could not stop them. Even the sword that they were fearing could not stop them. Ladies and gentlemen, what you fear is because you have not yet had the fire.